All right, this is going to be a really short video about the profit maximization rule, essentially MR equals MC. On the left-hand side, we've got the price on our y-axis. On the bottom, we've got our quantity. That's the x-axis. Uh, a couple other things here. We've got our marginal cost curve in red. Remember, it starts higher, dips down, and then continues to rise. Our marginal revenue line, since this is a perfect competition market, meaning that a company is a price taker, they have to take whatever the market price is, this line is going to be horizontally drawn across. So there's our price. We sell one unit, we collect $5. The second unit, we collect $5. The third unit, we collect $5. Now we've collected a total of 15 and so on and so forth. And so what you're essentially trying to figure out with this graph is how many units should you produce? When should you stop? And really it's when your marginal cost exceeds your marginal revenue, you shouldn't produce. And so the way to review this is at unit one, it's going to cost you, uh, let's say it would be, I don't know, around 450 or so. I didn't draw those in. Uh, but the point is your cost is less than the revenue you're going to bring in if you sell that one unit. At unit two, your revenue is here, what you receive, but your cost is down here. You're making money. Where marginal revenue equals marginal cost is right here. And so anything like this point over here, it costs more than you're bringing in, so you don't produce it. One quick thing though, it's not always equal. Let's say that your third unit, um, the dot was right here, so you could sell it for higher. It's, it's whenever your marginal cost exceeds your marginal revenue, you should produce up to that point. So uh, keep producing until marginal cost is greater than marginal revenue. Hope this was helpful, and uh, that's it.